Hello everyone. So, I've been playing this game Valorant recently, and, well, I picked up a few things in my time of playing. First off, I don't claim to be top tier in this game, as you can see. But, being in these ranks has allowed me to study these players and really learn how to get up. To preface, I used to be stuck in pretty low silver a while back, but recently things have changed for the better. I've developed this new strategy that I've been using and as you can see here I've climbed all the way to gold 2 and I'm still going up. It's insane. It's actually crazy. Basically the whole gist of this strategy revolves around one word. Aggression. Welcome to the jungle. I want to begin by saying that there's a very <coughs> real mindset when it comes to the roles in this game. For example, on attack, most players are going to be playing like the attacking. You want to get on the site and as defense, there's this idea that those players will be staying behind defending, you know, and like you will have like your occasional like lurker or something like that. But the general idea is like attackers at the attacking, defenders at the defending, you know. And that's this like mindset that many people, especially in the lower ranks, have. But this can be easily overcome with aggression. But before I go any deeper into this, I want to talk about the basic lineup before the strategy. So, <clears throat> the five crucial agents, and some of these can be swapped out, but like <clears throat> the general idea of the strategy is to have the following agents: Omen, Reyna, Jet, Rays, and Phoenix. Now. It seems strange at first, but here's how this works. Omen is the smoker because it, it is critical to have smokes, but Omen's also like the most aggressive smoker, I would say. Brim has really good post plant holds and his molly can be good for pulling people out of their positions, but Omen's smoke and teleport are just really powerful. So you have the smoker to cut down the line of sights and to help get on site, and then the remaining four agents... <laughs> are, if you can notice, the four duelists currently in the game. This is because the power of these duelists to get the kills and get these frags, and especially in this rank where refragging and like trading is such an uncommon aspect of the game right now in this, in this elo, it's so powerful. Now, taking a look at this team, you may be possibly wondering like, how, like, how are you supposed to defend with this? And this is going to relate back to what I was talking about the mindset earlier. But basically, you just play hyper aggressive here. And like, I, it seems crazy, but I've done this strategy and I like this is how I've gotten to gold. Like, this is so powerful and it just is always in working. I'm going to show you an example here. But basically, this game starts out like any other game would start out. Um, we're just, we're on attack first and we're doing this strategy, but we're just kind of going back and forth. No one's really dominating here, and then we end up going 6-6, six, six, so it's a like perfect tie through the through the attack, our attack. And then switch side comes, and this is when things really change for the better for us. Basically, we just we just win, we start winning, and we just keep steamrolling them. They're just they're just not much they can do. We are playing so aggressive, and we're like just peeking out, and like they just have no counters to it. Especially, I'm playing um, Phoenix here, and like the flashes. The problem with the flashes is that people in this rank aren't good enough to like to 180 the flashes and I look away and that kind of thing. So like like flashing out and peeking is so powerful because it's almost risk free. The only danger they have is if they're like hiding back and they peek out right when your flash ends. It's also a very rare occurrence and you can pull back when that happens and you can almost just get free peeks that way. I mean granted you are using some utility but like with a chance to get a pick or two, it's so powerful. And with the co conjunction of Reyna's blinds and Omen's flash, it's just it's just so powerful. So basically, if you're being stuck in iron, bronze, silver, gold, I urge you to try this strategy. And this doesn't mean you need like a five stack of duelists. Like the way I put this strategy the most is I'll just solo queue straight into a game. And as long as you have comms, you can communicate with your teammates, be like, can we get some fraggers and an omen or something? And most people will listen. If not, 
most people will just play fraggers anyway like most people will just play the duelists so it's really not an issue getting this strategy to happen it's just so powerful but basically i want you guys to go out here and use this strategy tell me if it works leave a comment down below if it works i it's been working like really well for me i want to like hear if it works just as well for you guys anyway i think that's gonna wrap this video up i'm gonna be short and sweet here have a good one